In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create three gradient infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, the first option comes. As you can see here, I've created a kind of a wave effect here where I've added the icon and then I've added this kind of a water splash kind of looks effect or kind of a wave effect only where I've added the option number, title and the detailed text. And when I click uh, with a different color, it comes a second option then comes the third option likewise i have created two more slides where i have added one background here kind of a table here where the options are placed on the top of the table and then i have added one more where i have removed the gaps between this so depending on the requirement you can just choose the best slide for you please share like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on youtube for powerpoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and i have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to choose the rectangle draw a small rectangle here all right and center align this one then shape outline make it no outline then shape fill i'm going to give some dark color blue color any color of your choice you can give then i'm going to give a kind of a wave effect at the top for that right mouse click and edit point you can see here there's a, there are four edit points here the first the top left point i'm going to select and i'm going to you can see here the two small square shapes are pop up so now this one i'm going to select and i'm going to move it up okay and then here you can see here the top right move this down all right so i end up getting a shape something like this now if you want to increase the height or the width you can do that without any problem all right the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to add one more rectangle or i can just duplicate this also i can just duplicate this one and i can increase the size also here you can see here and for this i'm going to give a gradient fill so I'm going to select a gradient fill and here I'm going to give different color of uh, my choice. So I'm just going to give a, some kind of a light green color and then I'm going to give a kind of somewhat darker and then I want to give some kind of blue color like this. So you can see here any color of your choice you can select it and I'm going to keep it here. Increase at the top. Let me just bring it down all right and then send this to back all right so now this particular shape i would like to edit that that one that means i want to do some modifications here for that right mouse click edit points and you can see here again the points are editable i'm going to add one more point here so when you bring the cursor here on the line the cursor changes like this and then right mouse click and just click on the add point so i end up getting a shape like this now i'm going to increase it a little bit and here also for this right mouse click and make it a smooth point okay again it has gone down again i'm going to bring it up and this also i'm going to make it straight and here if you want you can just make something like this all right so it depends on your requirement you can increase or decrease it okay for example if you don't want that much again i'm going to select and bring it down this one i can move it up a little bit and again align it so it has come up like this all right so again if i want i can just move it up increase the size all right so this is my first one is ready so the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to add two small oval shape at the top go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw a small oval shape all right shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give any color of your choice i'm going to rotate it a little bit and i'm going to put it here one and press ctrl d to duplicate reduce the size and rotate it the other way around and put it here like this all right again if you want to give some different color it's up to you so this is my first design is ready so i'm going to select this one press ctrl g to group it and move it towards the left all right then hold the ctrl shift key one more i'm going to add again hold the ctrl shift key and one more now if it goes out i'm going to select all these three press ctrl g to group it 
and hold the shift key and reduce the size all right and again if you want to increase the size you can increase the size also the height something like this so once this is done i'm going to press ctrl shift g to ungroup and again select this and press ctrl shift g to ungroup now for this color combination i'm going to use this particular uh, gradient color okay so for that let me just copy this format painter and click it here and for this i'm going to use this one so this is already have created you can just change according to your requirement i've changed this one now here i'm going to give some different color all right i, I can use the eyedropper also and i can just change different color combination you can see here and for this also i can just use the eyedropper select this one and here also i can just select different color right so once this is done i'm um, let me just delete this one i don't need all this now the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to insert some icons here for that go to insert icons i'm going to choose any random icons here but depending on the requirement you can just choose the relevant icons for your presentation so this is my first icon second icon and maybe a third icon and click insert i'm going to bring it here i'm going to make it maybe 0.7 and then select each one and put it here you can see here it looks something like this now this black is not visible i'm going to select all these three uh, shapes uh, the icons and graphic fill make it white all right once this is done go to insert text box i'm going to say option zero one okay left align i'm going to use the font open sans extra bold increase the size all right and then i'm going to put it here this is the option number one then go to insert text box i'm going to say title and this one again make it open sans extra bold if you want you can increase the size and i'm going to put the title here and then insert text box equals l-o-r-e-m within bracket one i don't want this much large text so some part of the text i'm going to delete it the next thing i'm going to give open sans okay and then reduce the font size and i'm going to paste it here and you have to make sure that this is all aligned to the left shape format align left all right then i'm going to hold the control shift key bring it here control shift key bring it here all right so once this is done i'm going to select this to the shape and the icon press ctrl g to group it the same thing i'm going to do this one this will help me to do the animation better if you do a grouping and then i'm going to select this all right or i can just select this one hold the shift key this this and this press ctrl g okay again this one this one this one and this one ctrl g remember that this small petals i'm not selecting okay so now press ctrl g and select all these three and send to back all right and then let's do the animation so go to the animations enable the animation pane the first one i'm going to select i'm going to make it fly in and fly in let me just make it somewhat fast so go to the timings duration 0 0.3 seconds all right it comes very fast and for this add animation more entrance effects stretch i'm going to select click ok stretch make it from bottom it comes something like this and this this one should happen after previous then this two add animation more entrance effects basic zoom click ok effect out all right and this should happen after previous so if i play it comes something like this you can see here now i'm going to select the animation painter click and put it here click on this one then i'm going to select this one here then for this two sorry for this two i'm going to add it manually basic zoom click ok out and this should happen after previous the same thing i'm going to copy it here copy it here then select both this add animation more entrance effects basic zoom 
click OK, effect options, make it out and then make it after previous. So if I play now, this is my first option, my second option and my third option.